Welcome everyone to the Northern American Light Mile Series. Here we are for round one of seven for your Battle of the Borders showdown. We have 20 some cars here for Edmonton Raceway to go 165 laps. Again, for your first round of seven for the Battle of the Border. We also will, next race after this will be tomorrow, Saturday morning, in Mexico. The reason why it's called the Battle of the Border is not just Canada and the U.S. No, this is the Northern American Late Mile Series, so we will also be racing in Mexico on the road course, which so many drivers earlier this year had so many difficulties with that racetrack. So let's get at it, guys. 165 laps here right now. Edmonton. As always, guys, if you guys want to know where these sound effects and sound engines come from, U.S. Design is where to go. Um, you can just ask for the sound engine on there, and he will give it to you green, 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 here at Edmonton Raceway. Look at Weaver already trying. Weaver makes it three wide on the first lap. Oh, my Lord, for first place. Three wide for on the first lap for first place. Weaver makes the first place move there early on. Lap two of 165. So early in the race, and he's and Weaver is so risky already. Good God. Three laps already are in. Look at this great race going on back here between between um Boucher. Boucher earlier gained that win at um, Meza Moraine. Weaver, though, we already got a caution. Caution, caution, caution. Your Canadian late mile, super late mile champion getting into the wall there, trying to fight with the big dogs here in the North American late mile series, and now gets wrecked. It actually, it actually started off. It actually starts all the way from back in turn two with the... Wow, with the 62 just putting him right in the wall. But again, guys, that, that was your 2014 for the first ever season Canadian Super Late Mile Champion. And again, this so far this year in the Northern Late American Late Mile Series, as well as he brought along some other um, Canadian Super Late Mile um, racers from that league that you guys have seen a few times on STR Broadcasting. He brought across a few of them, and not a lot of them have been able, been able to hang with the big dogs here. Let's and we're getting ready to go back to Green Flag Racing. Um, not even a good, I don't, yeah, not a good start here. Weaver in the lead. I have no clue what that start was. There should be a yellow flag out for that restart, though. No yellow flag out for the restart. Sorry if I was really loud, but there's dogs barking in the background. Yeah, no yellow flag for that restart. That was a crap restart right there. Anyways, Weaver in first place right now. Weaver in first place right now. Um, not much you could do. The Updike is in second. Never mind, 014 right here. Back here. Yeah, I don't know why yellow flag was not recalled or called for that crap start, but there should have been a yellow flag for that crappy start there. It had me all confused if that was even a green flag right there. 12 of Weaver, though. Again, making his presence known here in the Northern American Late Mile Series as he lets that 101 know, hey, get out of my way. They're lap 15 of 165 here. Sorry again if you guys... Sorry again if you guys hear anything in the background. That's my dogs barking. Probably don't hear them anything in the background though. Most likely you do not hear anything in the background though. Um, anyways, um, I don't really know. Anyways, we're trying to find your leader here. That 12 of Weaver right there. Then the X14 of Welters. And the 45. 45 of Broughton. Weaver, though, still in first first place. 
as Welters in second there, trying to catch up to Weaver. As we have lap 19 of 165 here at Edmonton Raceway for your Northern American Late Mile Series, round one of seven. Listen to these late miles, guys. That's 22 late miles. And tomorrow they will be headed to Mexico for Mexico City in the challenging road course that barely anyone can complete. Welter's now looking for that first place spot from Weaver, that Weaver man, that man right there who made a daring three wide attempt on the first lap here. And Welter's now looking for that first place there in the X14. Welter's now taking away first from, from B Weaver. After 23 of 165 laps. And Weaver gets really tight there in that corner. Weaver getting very tight in turn one and two. And these lap cars need to watch out for these lead lap cars. That 17 of in that rat car almost chopping down on Weaver who's in second right now. Welters again. Mark Welters there in that 014 though, or X14. You're a leader right now after 26 of 6, 165 laps. As we go back into where third place here is, that 124 of Roaring. And then they got the 45 of Broughton, an always strong competitor here in any racing lead that he does, that he races in. Look at the 32, 24 there, doing some great balance side by side. Of course, 32 being almost put up in the wall. Boucher back there. Boucher in the 79. Back there in 16th place. One earlier at Mesomarine Speedway. As we see some battling going on right now for third place between the 124 of Roaring and Broughton. Broughton easily goes right past Roaring for that third place. He's looking for another win here. And Welter's now trying to get past some lap cars who's in for currently in first. Weaver's in second. Weaver gets a little loose there off that turn. And we're currently three wide right now. Weaver trying to get around two lap cars. They easily let him around, but he gets a little gets a little swirly off that turn. And Boucher in the wall. And Boucher in the 79 in the wall. Able to re-pick it back up though. As Welter's now looking. Ray in his mirror noticing Weaver's back on the tack here. For first place. After 35 of 165. Excuse me. 34 of 165 laps. Weaver now looking on the inside for that first place spot again. Welter's saying no. I don't want that. But Weaver's got a. Uh, Welter's goes really high up on the track there. Weaver's got a few lap cars though in front of him. Welter's all over the place. We're gonna go three wide it looks like here. Up tight on all the way in that 46. I'm actually kind of amazed that to see that six of Hervey there getting lapped this early. That is eighth place by the way. Eighth place, there's only seven cars now on the lead lap. And we're only 37 of 165 laps into this race right now. 87 of Graham about to be a one put one lap down. I cannot believe that guys only 38 of 165 laps completed so far. And Weaver gets really tight into that corner there. Welter's already looking like he's gonna try making the move already. I can't believe that though. We're 39 of 165 laps completed here. And we base and we already have eighth place and up already has been lapped one one time. 87 of Graham though, not wanting to let that 7th place up right there. And this is going to get a little squirrely here. And Weaver, your leader, getting a little cautious there, as you see right there. And Weaver way off the groove that time, letting the lead back to Welter. Holy cow, Weaver almost getting to the wall there. Welter's all over the back of the 87 of Graham. 
Graham almost looking like he almost went for a little ride there. Brought er, thanks to Welter there. Welter all over the back of Graham. Welter going to give Graham a little taxi ride there if he doesn't get out of the way. In other words, Welter's going to take out Graham. And that's something I think would that would be kind of allowed because Graham is actually holding up Welter, who is a lead lap car in the X-14. Well, or Graham now knowingly gets out of the way of the lead lap cars. Welter could have easily spun Graham at some points there. And that will actually be top seven now, or seventh, all the way up to 20 seconds already been lapped as we hit 46 of 165 laps. With only one caution so far. Walter's still in the lead as we go back and look here. 62 of Nelson in third. Fourth place, Broughton. Fifth place is the 125, 124, excuse me, of Roaring. And then sixth place is the 24 of Lake there. Lake about to get lapped though by Welters. Welters going to lap Lake here. So let's, so the top five drivers guys are the last drivers on the lead lap already. As we hit lap 50 of 165. Only 50 laps into this race, not 51 laps in this race. Welters though increasingly increasing that lead though to two seconds margin wise over Weaver. See a two moving out of the way for Welters there. Now will the 32 of Galt Jr. move out of the way for Welters? Galt Jr. moves out of the way for Welters guys there. Again, this is your first round here of seven. Again, like I said, tomorrow morning will be... Oh, and Welters gets very loose off that corner. But yeah, tomorrow morning, guys, will be in Mexico City for your... Look at God Jr. God Jr., guys, trying to get his lap back that he... Let's see, actually, the 32, guys. <coughs> the 32 is... Well, yeah, he's a lap down, but he's trying to get his one lap back, and Welter's way loose all of a sudden. Now we see the 24 there of Lake there now trying to get his lap back. Welter's very, very loose. Something obviously didn't go right when he went into the pits and under caution, and these guys do have to at least make two stops. We have a caution right now on the track, and it's to the 56 of Borski. Let's see what happened. And as we look at the replay again, a familiar thing here. 62 of Nelson just gets on the back of Borski, puts Borski in the wall, almost in the wall. That 62 of Nelson might be putting in, getting put in the back of the pack now because that's the second time he spun someone out in this race. <laughs> and another screwy-looking restart here. It'll be the 12 of Weaver right there in the lead. Actually, let me just make sure here. And well, we're going to have some jumbling up going all over the place here. Strapper's going in the track. Hold on here. We got some screwed up restarts, guys. We need to really, you know, they need to really do some restarts here. So yeah, it'll be the 12 of Weaver. I really don't understand how Broughton's not in the lead right now. Alright, anyways, I guess the 12 of Weaver is in the lead here, guys. After that, once again, screwy restart. Um, so yeah, Weaver in the re in the lead still. After 66 of 165 laps, he tries going three wide there on Graham and Lake. And now he's the only lap car. He's not. He's the only driver that's not lapped down. But like I said, that was kind of. A, we've had two screwy restarts that should have actually had another restart to it to let everyone catch back up with each other. And I don't know why that's happening tonight. That's never happened before in this league. There's never been that much of a crap restart. 
especially twice in a row. So I don't know what's going on tonight, guys. As you can see, all these drivers are getting um, pairs done to them. The top five is currently one, only one lap down. The top four, excuse me, besides um, Weaver. Weaver's in the lead, though. After 71 of 165 laps. And there's Weaver again, like I said, then Nelson. As someone gets, as they get way slowed down for the, for that 17 car coming out. <coughs> onto the track. That could have been a very dangerous situation there. As I think we actually, think Updike actually got on the wall there as we try looking for Weaver here. There's Weaver. And that number 12, it's after 74 of 165 laps. And oh, the two of Hayden trying to get no yellow flag for Hayden there. Oh, but that's going to bring out a yellow flag. Hayden intentionally bringing out their yellow flag after getting spun out. And oh, he's going to bring up a big wreck. 32 of Gotten Jr. So yeah, your leader spinning out. Hayden there by accident and we'll be right back and here we go guys back to the green flag here we're gonna have another crap restart someone got the black flag we're gonna have another crap restart guys hopefully tomorrow at Mexico City that will not happen but the 12 of we were still in the lead after 80 of 165 laps someone got the black flag and oh we got someone on the wall they ain't, oh god Yellow flag is out. So it's going to be Updike here. Actually starts it all. Put Borski. Kind of gets Borski a little sideways there. Borski goes up to 17 and takes Boucher with him. And that will be after 81 laps of 165 here. For your first round of the board, Battle of the Borders again tomorrow morning. We're going to be doing round two of seven in Mexico City. Here in Edmonton. And then it will be off to America. So we will be ready. Now we actually look like we're going to get a good restart here. Maybe. Never mind. I guess everyone decide to back up there. But anyways, um, yeah, everyone on the left side is all one lap down. So Weaver, again, something. Hold on. So yeah, there we go. And Broughton right into the wall there. Weaver looking like he's just going to take this one away. As we look in and look at some of the other battles going on here between the 95 and the 87 of Graham. 87, though, is actually in second place right now. As you see Updike there getting one over 45 of Broughton. Broughton telling 95, yo, get out of my way. As Weaver still in the lead here after 89 of 165 laps. Some great battling going on here in Edmonton. We got some three wide action going on right there. As so, someone's on the tr someone just entered the track right there. That being a 98, 98 almost getting caught right off the track by Broughton there. As we see that 98 now should probably get off the track because he's just getting in everyone's way, whoever that may be. Weaver still in the lead. Second place is a is Graham right there. One lap down, and then four, third place is brought in the 45. Fourth is the 62 of Nelson. As, like I said, you see the 98, they're just getting in everyone's way. After 93 of 165 laps. Boucher coming right back on the track there with the little dented up race car. Never mind, he comes right back on the pit road. Weaver there looking to lap that number 17. Of well, it just says rat. What 95, 165 laps still completed here. And now we were gonna get stuck behind that 101 car, which will be right in the H and H, H and H Auto Body 101 car, which is right there. 
Boucher just keeps on entering and leaving the track. He's gonna he might get black flagged if he can't if he is, can't just stay on the track. Let's go actually on board with the 98. As the 98 actually taps on the wall. Oh, hits hard. This is the 98's view right now, guys. The reason why I'm showing you this is let's look at this. That number 98 is 30. He's 30 laps down, guys. That 98 car that you're on board right now with is 30 laps down. And he's really slow as hell. He can't see out of his cockpit at all. And he's still trying to race. 16 finally able to enter back on the track here after getting stuck behind the 18 car. That that 018 car getting the number 16 car stuck right behind him in pit road. So sadly that 16 is 38 laps down. Even though he obviously shouldn't be because as you guys can see he's pretty fast. We got some three wide racing going on between Broughton, the 101 and the 98. As someone gets the black flag and oh Broughton in the wall! Someone takes out some, oh my god. 121 of Roaring in the wall too. That will bring out the yellow flag. Let's look at what happened, oh my god. So, so again guys, we have Broughton. It looks like 98 actually has come right in the 101. Like I said, 98 can't see anything, so he might not even be able to race the next race. Because there's two problems here. He couldn't see out of the side of his cockpit, nor could he see in front of him, nor could he keep up with race speed. So those are two violations right there. Just comes right into the 101. 101, unfortunately, not trying to spin him out, but spins him out. Slams him, slams Broughton right into the wall. Broughton at the time was actually in second place. Brings the 124 of Roaring, and then you see the 32 of Gottling Jr. in the wall. So that's after 105, 165 laps here. Let's go back. To We're going back to Green Flag Racing here up to 107, uh, 165 laps completed here. Weaver still in the lead here. Green, green, green. Green, green, green here at Edmonton Raceway. Of course, the rest of the pack coming along too, but they're in the pits right now. Weaver, though, getting contested by the 95 there of Neville. No one, no match, though, for Weaver. And that modif modified, modified looking late mile. Excuse me, I can't really talk that well right now. <laughs> anyways, guys, um. Yeah, Weaver, though, guys, taking away the win. Looks like the win here. With everyone just being one lap down, let's as we try looking around for good racing going on here between. Well, we got one going on right now between the 87 of Graham and the 18. They, this eight, this number 18 is the car I was talking about, though, guys, who was keeping the 16 right there from getting off side of his pit stall. So that actually put him down 38 laps, guys. Sadly, the two I guess is. I was about to say, why is he back on the track here? What in the world's going on here? Six is gonna have to sadly slow down there, there, right there. Oh my God, they're gonna not gonna try making it four wide here, are they really? Weaver's still in the lead though. As we look at all your cars here coming by, these are 21 cars here because uh, that number two cars had to retire. 116 of 165 laps completed here at Edmonton Speedway. As we see some racing going on between again the 85 gram and the 18 car of Dubuque. And you got six, uh, six X6. X14, excuse me, X14 of Walters right there. Right there, Roaring! Roaring, pushing Weaver, your leader, out of the way. Saying, yo, I want my lap back. Roaring, or excuse me, Weaver all over the place. Roaring almost spun Weaver, your leader, out. Jesus. That could have been really bad. Weaver now all over the tra track.
As we look for Walters right there, actually second right now, in second right now. Listen to this loud action here. Guys, that's some great racing going on between everyone though. Welter's trying to get trying to catch up and get his lap back and try to actually contest against Weaver for a hit, you know, first place right there. And all of a sudden we're just seeing some people slowing down. Boucher getting back on the track. Never mind, he's still leaving the track. He can't be doing that now. Weaver though still in first place here for your North American late mile battle of the border showdown. And oh, we got Updike takes out 95, 95 around. And we are under. And we're back, green flag racing here. Sorry for the quick delay right there. As we see some moves getting put on right there between Nelson and the 35 of Logan. Sorry about that little delay right there in between the time. I had to do something really quick. But anyways, yeah, we're at 133 there, 165 as we just got back underway from green flag, or from concussion flag. Some great racing going on here. Weaver, by for sure, has got the win here in the bag. Unless something bad was to happen to Weaver. For some weird reason, the 16 right there just slamming on the brakes of Scott. Weaver now coming by. Like I said, guys, just owning this race right tonight. We saw some great racing going on here all over the place. For no reason, the 39, the 33 there, excuse me, of Logan just slams on his brakes. Some great racing going all over the tr on all over the track here. Boucher just randomly, oh my god, Boucher almost getting spun out right there. At 32 of Galt Jr. by accident, obviously. By slamming on his brakes like he did right there. Eighty seven right there and Walters. Walter currently there's a battle for second right here between the eighty seven of Graham and the O fourteen of Walters. Welter's way off the groove. After 141 of 165 laps, and we have a caution. Somewhere here on the track. <clears throat> Some pretty hard racing going on here. Look at look at the 101 and the 46 of Updike. Barely just touching side by side. But then you see Weaver here actually spins out the 16, your leader, or 46, excuse me. So yeah, your leader spinning out the 46 to bring out or another caution here. Late in the race after 143 of 165 laps. Let's go back to And we're getting ready to go back to green flag racing here after 146 of 165 laps here at Edmonton Speedway. Like I said, all the cars that you see on your left are all one lap down. Or more. One or more laps down. And Weaver all by himself there. And we go back to green flag racing! Here at Edmonton Speedway. A lot of people are probably going to be complaining after this race about how it was unfair at points. And 148 of 165 laps now. And everyone just ducks right down low. What in the world? Weaver, again, like I said, easily taking this battle or win here, it looks like. Not that many more laps, and he'll be round your winner for round one here. Boucher, I think, finally thinking about staying on track. And like I said, guys, tomorrow Mex Mexico City, um, on that road course, we did have your Northern American late miles, guys, race on the road course earlier this year. Look at all this great racing, though. Um, and they were not able to really do that many laps here earlier this year. 
So hopefully tomorrow they can actually do, I mean, they were, but yellow, yellow flag-wise, not that many good laps. So hopefully tomorrow we can actually see some good racing. As Weaver, again, just pulling away with this win. As we'll listen to the late models for one last time. There we see Weaver right there trying to blap the 18. I hope you guys had your microphones up right there of Dubuque, by the way, the 18 of Dubuque. Or excuse me, not your microphone, excuse me, your volume's up right there because here in these cars roar, guys. As Weaver, like I said, just easily taking this win here after lap 158 of 165. Three wide action going on right there. Weaver, like I said, just easily taking this win. And oh, the 98 pushed all over the place by that 46, though. Like I said, we got five more laps to go, guys. Three wide action going on. Weaver, Weaver almost loses his car right there towards the end of the race. He's all over the track, pushing everyone out of the way there. Updike's all over the track, too. More importantly, right in front of the leader, Weaver. This late in the race will piss Weaver off, probably. Weaver on lap 163 of 65 now. See some great racing going on all over the place here. Rodman literally ran right the back of that 95. Weaver sees the white flag first, guys. One lap to go here for round one of seven. In your Northern American late mile series, Weaver going to take an easy stroll, it looks like here. 46 going to just go right on by. Weaver takes the checker flag here at Edmonton Speedway. Thank you guys very much for watching. See you guys later.